So here's a version of the uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus human protein protein interaction map that we had published a, a couple of months ago. Uh, there's 332 human proteins uh, in total connected to 26 different SARS-CoV-2 proteins. And if the node here is orange, we think it's a, a druggable target. And we mapped um, the host factors to 69 different drugs and compounds. This was led by Kate Van Shokat and Brian Shokat here at UCSF. And we collaborated with Adolfo Garcia Sastra at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York and Marco Vignuzzi at the Pasteur Institute to test these drugs and compounds to see if they had any antiviral effects. Here's a number that we were that uh, we were looking at in more detail. There's two translational inhibitors. Uh, Pledepsin apletin is one. This is a translational elongation inhibitor that came from the map. Um, another one here is zotadafin. This is a, a translational initiation protein. I'm going to come back to pledepsin in just a minute. And we're also been looking more deeply at drugs and compounds that modulate uh, the sigma receptor one. And this is work being led by Brian Shoykat. And I just wanted to point out a couple of weeks after we published uh, this initial map, there had been 13 drugs from this paper, derived from this paper that were tested in clinical trials and actually many more since the uh, middle of May, many of which, which uh, we're following closely. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about this particular drug here. It's pledepsin or apledin. It's actually a drug that's being used to treat multiple myeloma in Australia, it's from a company, Pharmamar. This has been approved for treatment of multiple myeloma. And in work that has not yet been um, published yet, um, from uh, Chris White and Adolfo Garcia Sastra, uh, in human cells uh, expressing ACE2, they actually found that this IC90 value from pledepsin is in the picomolar range, and it's 30 times more potent than remdesivir. And you look at primary uh, lung cells, Apledin is much more potent than remdesivir, but you know, 10 times lower concentration here to see the same effect. And then Adolfo used this mouse model where you can actually infect the mice with SARS-CoV-2. Many of you have this now. And at three different um, timings, you're adding either apledin or remdesivir. And a much lower concentration of apledin, you can see that uh, it's incredibly potent, about two and a half logs decrease of infection. And a couple of weeks ago, Pharmamar announced uh, positive results from a phase one, phase two apletin trial. They're now transitioning to phase three. And um, interestingly, where this compound comes from is this creature here, the C creature, and that's the compound right there. And it's actually as uh, a structure here, not from us, but from a previous uh, group, uh, showing that apletin binding to EIF1A, which was a connection that we had uh, derived from our protein-protein interaction map. And actually, when you CRISPR a specific point mutation in, in EIF1A, you make the cells resistant to apletin. So we're very excited about this particular drug, and we're hoping that you'll be hearing about it very soon as an option here for treatment for COVID-19.